dolphins can detect electric fields. Two captive bottlenose dolphins have proven to scientists that they can sense even a weak electric field in the water. Researchers suggest that this ability is useful when hunting and allows dolphins to find prey buried in the sand. It can also help them find the right direction. Bottlenose dolphins, Tersiops truncatus, are born with whiskers, like seals. Their vibrissae fall out soon after birth, leaving a series of dimples called vibrissae. Tim Hutner and Guido Denhart of the University of Rostock in Germany began to suspect that the dimples might be more than just a relic. Looking closely at them, they realized that they resembled structures that allow sharks to detect electric fields. Intrigued by this discovery, they decided to check whether dolphins could also detect an electric field. Their suspicions came true. Captive dolphins detected a weak electric field. The description and results of the research were published in the Journal of Experimental Biology. The ability to sense electric fields is called electroperception. The ability to receive electrical stimuli from the environment has been confirmed in some species of fish, sharks, saw rays and rays. Among mammals, it is known that monotremes, i.e. echidnas and platypuses, can detect electric fields. And dolphins. Once Hutner and Danhart confirmed the existence of a previously unknown sense in dolphins. They started cooperation with Lorenzo von Fersen from the Nuremberg Zoo and Lars Mirsch from the University of Rostock. Together they wanted to find out how sensitive bottlenose dolphins are to electric fields produced by various marine life forms. First, they tested the sensitivity of two bottlenose dolphins at Nuremberg Zoo, called Donna and Dolly, to different electric fields to find out whether they could detect fish buried in the sandy seabed. First, they underwent training in which the dolphins held still near a bar submerged underwater, and when they detected an electric field, they swam away from it. The researchers gradually reduced the electric field from 500 to 2 microvolts per centimeter. They tracked how many times the dolphins swam away after detecting the electric field. Donna and Dolly were equally sensitive to the strongest fields. Only when the electric fields weakened did it turn out that Donna was slightly more sensitive and could detect electric fields of 2.4 microvolts per centimeter, while Dolly sensed fields of 5.5 microvolts per centimeter. However, electric fields produced by living organisms are not static. The pulsating movements of the fish's gills cause their electric fields to fluctuate. The researchers wanted to see if Donna and Dolly could also sense such electric fields. In the tests, the researchers created an electric field that pulsed 1.5 to 25 times per second while decreasing the field strength. And here, too, the scientists' suspicions came true. Dolphins easily detected such pulsating electric fields. But in this case, the dolphins' sensitivity was slightly worse. Dolly could detect the field at 28.9 microvolts per centimeter, 
Donna at 11.7 microvolts per centimeter. According to researchers, sensitivity to weak electric fields helps dolphins search for fish hidden in bottom sediments. Scientists also suspect that this ability may be used for orientation in the field. This sensory ability can also be used to explain orientation relative to the Earth's magnetic field, Denhart says. In other words, sensitivity to electric fields helps dolphins navigate the globe.